Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about how to use Start Pro Foundation Design Software SFA to design a matte foundation. Here's an example, a floor plan of a steel tower building with its six uh, column footing here. And underneath column, there are six concrete piers uh, go down three meters connect to a, a mat foundation. You see below is the section of this foundation and between these uh, concrete piers, I uh, add some grid beam or grid walls to increase the whole rigidity of this mat foundation because we are using the conventional rigid method to design mat foundation. We must make sure the foundation rigidity is sufficient, especially for columns with big spacing. However, here is a reminder for you. When it comes with design of grid beam or grid wall, this style foundation software only applies a simple model like this. It just uh, make all the centroid of grid beam or grid wall to add the mat line position. This is not uh, uh, the real case and may cause incorrect uh, uh, design results. Therefore, today, I'm go going to introduce a new way using a more accurate model for grid beam. See here, in this model, all the grid beam uh, will be connected with the mat foundation at their bottom. Uh, this can give us accurate design results. Okay, let's start uh, start software to set up a uh, model first. So these are the six uh, concrete piers I just mentioned. At each top point, uh, they, they are the concrete uh, base plate and all the loading from the concrete building are already inputted at this point including snow everything operation loads com uh, combination loads and um, so as mentioned just now to achieve a more accurate model i need first build grid wall to add wall here, wall plate here, like real case, above the mat foundation. So I will add uh, this uh, grid wall one by one and mesh them. So to save our time, I already prepared a uh, uh, grid wall model. You see here, all these walls are already meshed and uh, add some uh, uh, support underneath them so we can get a reaction. Now it's ready to go and uh, we just run analysis. We can see the results are here, they are very good. So we can go to uh, post-processing mode and check uh, uh, the reactions are here. Plate, plate uh, forces, uh, stresses are here. So they all can be transferred to the matte foundation later. Now we are going to start uh, to click this tab. It's called Foundation Design. Then we got a right side a new window. In this window, we need to select all the combination load and include it in our new uh, Start Foundation Advance. This software we just click it. It will automatically link us to this. Uh, Start Foundation Advanced Software. Okay, here is the software interface. 
we can see for all the loads we convert from the abstractor model, including grid wall, uh, concrete piers, everything is here. So we start to design the mat foundation. First of all, we need to create a job, input uh, information. See, so give it the job name, foundation one, and uh, the foundation type should be mat and code, Canadian code, uh, units, international units, and including all the loads to this job, to create a new job. You see job F1 has been successfully created. So next step, we need to um, define the loads, check all the loads combination here. We need to separate some of the combination load should be defined as automated uh, load batch and some of them in service batch. So you can see the bracket, uh, they are in different two group, automated group and service group for different design purpose. Okay, it's quite straightforward. We can go to Mat Foundation Design directly. And uh, first of all, some default properties we need to input, uh, like such as subgrade modulus. Uh, in our case, this is 40,000. Uh, and also the modulus of the elastic of our concrete. In our case, is 30,000. We just input this. The rest uh, we can do later. So we move on to mesh to establish this uh, mat foundation boundary. We use, uh, in our case, we can use polyline because we just have uh, four points uh, to build a rectangle um, a mat foundation. So we get, also we need to give a, a name. We give it, see like mat one, foundation, mat foundation one. And we also need to input uh, all the coordinates for this uh, mat foundation for corners. Here we can see it clearly, use top view. So we can see, uh, now I prepared uh, the coordinates for each uh, point. Minus one point. minus 1.2 so double check make sure they are good so looks like uh, we already set up this mat foundation boundary next step we need to mesh it so we can see we need to add this uh, boundary to the analysis tree and choose this uh, uh, boundary create a mesh by default uh, mesh size. And I prefer use mixed quadrant and triangle mesh and create a node set column support uh, position. The rest just use default. We can, the meshing is done. Uh, to see it clearly, we can change the setting, check out uh, the supports and the loads in the first tab, then come back to the mat, uh, foundation here before we start to analysis this matter foundation we need to also give the thickness of this slab see we de defined as 900 millimeter 0 0.9 meter and also soil property just double check uh, our subgrade modulus is 40,000. okay uh, seems everything is good we can start uh, analysis Click yes and save. It takes a few more minutes, a few more seconds to finish the calculation. So the results are good. Calculation, uh, calculation sheets, the first of them are the input data. These are the data 
settlement here. And uh, Matt played stress summary, including um, bending stress, shear stress. So you can use them for the reinforcement design and also soil pressure on this foundation uh, for service load. We can compare the maximum load with our capacity. And also the uh, capacity uh, stability check, like sliding check, overturning check. And also we can visually see the diagram uh, give us more straightforward results. We click uh, output view option and then click uh, this uh, top tab geometry. So we can see that in the second group, we will see show soil pressure. We click it, you can see this is the bottom pressure on the certain uh, load cases. See like we change case to number seven, we will see the bottom uh, soil pressure, the maximum is 172 kPa. Key, uh, key we can compare to our capacity. And also we can see, check here, we can see shoe plate stress. There are many um, uh, stress like uh, MX, MY, shear stress SQ, SQX, SQY, and uh, also uh, global bending moment, X direction and Z direction. They are all different uh, uh, on different uh, load cases. Okay, so these are the design results and then we can follow this tab one by one to design the reinforcement. First, we need to input uh, material strengths like uh, rebar 400, MPA, a concrete strength, a concrete cover thickness, a reinforcement a diameter, spacing, and so on. And we click design, it will give us a, a reinforcement design result, quite straightforward. But also you can um, use those uh, stress uh, uh, calculation sheet by the calculation sheet uh, to design reinforcement by yourself. And I found this is much faster than use uh, these software steps. Okay, this is my video for today. Hope my design skills can be of some help for you. Please remember to like and subscribe. To see more contents like this, also comment down below if you have any questions.